Welcome to my lecture online. I'm hoping that this lecture here will help us understand the difference between instantaneous power and average power and how it applies to capacitive circuits and inductive circuits. So what we have here is we have a purely inductive circuit, an inductor with a resistor in the circuit, purely resistor circuit, a capacitor with a resistor, and here we have just a purely capacitive circuit. Notice that in this circuit, the voltage will lead the current by 90 degrees. In this case, we set it up in such a way that the voltage leads the current by 45 degrees. Here, there's no phase difference between the current and the voltage, so the phase difference is zero. Here, the current leads the voltage by 45 degrees, and here, the current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. How does it affect the average power and the instantaneous power? So in this case, these are the average power calculation so this is average this is average average power average power and average power right here notice that there's no average power average power is zero in a purely inductive circuit and average power is zero in a purely capacitive circuit when we put a resistor in there you can see here that if the phase angle is 45 degrees difference between the current and the voltage the average power will be the square root of 2 over 2 times 1 half i max z max and on the other hand, if here we have the uh, voltage lead in the current, you can see here that if the, the difference is 45 degrees, again, the average power will be the square root of 2 over 2 times 1 half I max V max. And if there is no phase difference between them, if we have sh purely a resistive circuit, the phase angle difference is 0, the cosine of 0 is 1, and so the average power will be 1 half I max times V max. Now we have the associated uh, graphs with that. So here we have an average power of zero. Notice that the instantaneous power oscillates where the middle of that graph is right on the t-axis and we have the same thing over here. So you can see that there's no average power consumed by those devices. If we have a resistor in series with the inductor or in series with the capacitor, notice it lifts the curve, the average power increases and you can see here that in this case at a 45 degree angle that we have the average power here over which the instantaneous power oscillates will be the square root of 2 over 2 times 1 half I max V max. Same over here. And finally, when we have purely resistive circuits, so the phase difference between the current and the voltage is zero, we have the instantaneous power that oscillates about the average power and the average power is 1 half I max V max. And you can see here that at the bottom it just, just touches the t-axis. Everything stays above the, the t-axis for the instantaneous power. So you can see average power is zero, higher, maximum average power less, and the average power back to zero. And hopefully that will give us a good idea of how that is really, how that works and what those values actually mean. And that's how it's done.